Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you SearchAt.net version 9.07. This will be the last version before version 10 comes out. I wanted to actually show you guys some of the features and stuff that are on here versus 10. Uh, when I actually make a video on that one, this is pretty much going to be an archive of this site since there's a lot that has changed, including the search engine itself in the side of the site. So just, this is something that I can look back at or anybody else that wants to look back at on what it used to be now it's been a while since i've actually made a video like this before in the past last one was oof, version 7 so i kind of skipped um an entire version out of that so yeah even from version 9 or 7 to 9 uh it changed a lot including adding the speed dial as being one of the things but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the features on this one. So let's go ahead and start with the search bar first, since this is the main thing that you're going to see right off the bat. So this is pretty, pretty basic. You just type something in like, hello world, right? And you can hit enter and it brings you into the search page. That's pretty normal. I'll show you the search results. Um, I have a little bit of issues with Starlink right now. It's going a little bit slow, so bear with it, please. So yeah, it shows you your results. You got wiki on the right, um, main search results on the left. We have news on the right here. We can hide the results temporarily. We can show them. We can permanently hide them right here. So the next time when you refresh the page, they'll stay hidden or we can show it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this page. The newer version changes this drastically. So you'll see that when the time comes. All right, so what else we got here? Maybe you got somebody on Facebook that's asking a lot of questions or just somewhere else in general where they can just use the search engine and look things up, and you can be one of those sarcastic people that can say, how does Earth spin? I don't know, something that they could have looked at. Anyway, you can put their question here. You can generate it, copy it, give them the link, and when they paste it in, they hit enter it'll automatically type show a fake cursor now this version is actually screwed up on 4k screens that should have been up here it's been fixed on version 10. as you can see it did type it in and there's the question right there it'll show the results to it there it is all right so what else is in here let's refresh real quick here you can place your voice now this uses um speech api that doesn't work in firefox because well firefox has got to be one of those special browsers that a lot of things don't work in i don't like firefox <laughs> but anyway yeah you can just type in like hello world and it'll place the text here which gives you the ability to choose any engine that you want like say bing maybe you want to search there maybe you want google perhaps you want to use a search engine that you may or may not have heard of pre-search there you go. It gives you that ability. Maybe you want to look at like YouTube or some other link right here, right? You can just click on YouTube. And there's Hello World. Which loads real slow. <laughs> All right. So you can use uh, tracking numbers too. You can place your tracking number in here and then you can choose where that tracking number is. Maybe you don't know where it is. You can use 17 track and it'll show you where what your package is, where it is, blah, 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 and etc. You can even use IP lookup. So it's pretty nifty, hand, handy little tools. So the speed dial, you can add links in here like HTTP. You know what, I'm just kind of lazy. Let's go back to here. Let's click on that. Uh, let's paste you in here and type in YouTube and enter. There's YouTube. So when you click it, it'll bring you right to YouTube. So. Uh, this speed dial uses local storage. Local means locally um, storage to your browser. Basically uses key and value text. Um, the site it doesn't have a database. It uses APIs and um, local storage for saving everything. So if your browser itself um, dies out and you got to reinstall it or you clear your browser's catch you can literally wipe out all the local storage stuff including anything that you add into the speed dial so everything is saved locally to your browser only um 
you can look up uh, local storage, how it works and stuff if you really want to. But anyway, we can move this thing around. We can refresh and it'll stay like that. Perhaps you want to delete it. Maybe you want to delete this or these as well. You don't want them there. You can remove them. Refresh and they're gone as you can see. So settings, we can hide speed dial, waves, quotes, mini quotes, header, footer, and obviously the wiki results on the main search page and it looks nice and clean. Next time when you refresh, they're gone. We want to show all that though. Newer version will have a lot more settings. We can change themes. Like so, we can go into more themes. Maybe we want to see this theme. There you go. Perhaps you want this one. Perhaps you want this one. I know you can't see it because you got this big uh, ad in the way. The newer version allows you to make way or remove these. Let's just temporarily add ad blocker here and refresh. Should help a little bit. There you go. So you can kind of see it a bit better now. We'll go back to the home page. That's it. All right, let's bring you back to the default theme. Let's go to news, US and Canada. And we can go down to arts, which is right here, which is really handy. This is actually works even better on a mobile device. Let's go to inspect element. All right, it's set in mobile form. There you go. So say offbeat, there's offbeat and scroll right back up. So you can literally jump to places really fast. Search bar, let's go back to the home page, show you how it looks like on a mobile device. And that's what it looks like on a mobile device. Pretty nifty, huh? Hell, let's type in earth. Here's the wiki results, main results, back to home. Uh, this autocomplete menu, hello, as an example, is a really handy feature. Problem is it's really old and uh, it's actually depreciated. Um, so I had to make way, I had to remove it. Uh, so the newer version is going to be so much better. It's just going to have a little bit less um, um, auto completion keywords, basically. But uh, it's going to be so much better than this one right here and more secure. Uh, this site here uses about 95% of jQuery framework. And that's another thing I wanted to remove and try to go with vanilla JavaScript basically uh, your browser running it and and pure JavaScript or raw JavaScript pure raw vanilla it's got many names to it but uh, I wanted to make a way and remove majority of frameworks off of here and jQuery was one of them the newer version uses about 1% of it so that's actually quite nice that I don't have to rely on that framework much anymore but uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and show some of the tools here. This is one that will not be going to version 10 because it uses jQuery framework. Uh, you can encrypt and decrypt. It's not very handy. Well, I guess it is if you really want to encrypt smaller files, but you know, there's many tools that are out there that do it. Binary converter, for some reason this isn't working. I don't know why it should be working. Oh, now it is. I guess it wasn't working before. Um, so yeah, you can just type in something here. Let's go to clear. No, let's switch. Let's see, there it is. Uh, there's others in here. Text encryptor. Is it this? That? Oh, yeah, that works too. Those are actually being moved into the newer version. It's just they've been rebuilt counter watch this here is not being moved over I'm gonna be rebuilding a newer version same thing goes with the stopwatch on here um, 
they'll be removed for now. This is a really handy tool, HTML Builder. I've mentioned this before in version 7. I've updated it through the years and whatnot of having it in the site. This actually um, is Tiny MCE. So if you, if anybody has ever used Tiny MCE, then you'll you'll know that what this thing does is super awesome. It's one of the best uh, editors out there, which is kind of nice because you can type something in here, maybe whatever you have. You can actually copy the source code like this right here, and you can paste it in your website. Perhaps you want to. Uh, re-add it in here that way you can tweak it you can hit save there it is so uh, there's a page that I have that actually uses it let's go to help so all this right here was actually generated by that so if I really wanted to let's go ahead here let's go to inspect element as an example uh, I really wish that you weren't attached let's remove you here Dock bottom. Here we go. This is much better doing this. All right, let's go ahead and copy that code. Uh, let's just copy the whole thing right here. All right, and let's go back to that page. Let's go to view source code, dump it in here, hit save. Bam, there it is. And I can re-edit and whatever from here, and then I can copy it and paste it back into the page again. So that's actually really handy. So yeah, I generated it through here. Um, this is actually really handy too, because if you want to, say, uh, print something out on another website, but you only wanted a certain amount of text or whatnot, you can just paste it in here and you can hit the print button. Because you know those some of those sites are you go to print and then it prints off a bunch of stupid stuff that uh, you didn't want. And you're just wasting ink and paper so that's a really handy feature we got emoji selector the new new version 10 has um, has a lot more emojis but I'll show you this version here so yeah there's a pile in here the ones with the red boxes don't work on older older phones so that's why they that's a caution mark but all the all new phones actually support that so we can just paste in that an example you can search for something from here now this version has um, 1316 results and for skin tones I actually had to be on another page because well that's a lot to load on one page it's as you see it's taken a while to load it's a lot of stuff on one page as you see, that is a lot of emojis. Ooh, that lagged a little bit. All right. My PC is being a little bit slow. My apologies. Gradient color picker, another thing that won't be in the newer version. Like you can look a lot of the, look at a lot of these tools in version seven. I literally went through every single one of them on there. Um, some are new though. This here will be on version 10. This is actually handy if you're somebody that works with electronics and you want to see resistor values and then compare it to like uh, your multimeter. See right there. That's a pretty handy feature. Uh, what else? Notepad. This is actually really nifty. This is also moved over to the newer version too. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. Create a new note. So yeah, you can create more than one note right here. Local storage. Refresh. There it is. As long as you don't clear your browser's catch, then, well, this is actually really nifty. Uh, what else we got here? Temp converter. Don't really need to see that. Text flipper, meh, that's gone as well. Your all notepad no longer exists. I pulled that. Uh, unit converter, this is an old converter. There's a newer version that 
you'll get on version 10. So yeah, there's there's some tools on here. It's pretty nifty. Some kind of suck. <laughs> some will uh, never make their way to the newer version ever. Um, like this one right here. It's not really needed anymore. Even Windows compresses files pretty well. You know, that's that was nifty at one time, but not anymore. But, oh, the chat itself. Yeah, I wanted to show you this too. So this is the old layout of the chat. I'm not going to load the chat though. It shows you light version and full screen. This will show you, let's go to rules. You can see it's light. This will be the dark version. There's rules there. So there's nothing much really see on here. You can search for something right here. Pretty basic, and these are just shortcuts to other pages. And you see that's one of them right there. But uh, yeah, that's it for version 9.07 of searchat.net. Uh, I will make a video of version 10, and I'll really go through everything on there. But yeah, this is just pretty much of an archived video of the site, mostly um, of uh, this right here. This this search page has changed on version 10. Uh, this here still exists on version 10, but this is gone. There is actually better results and, and stuff on the right hand side. So yeah, this UI has changed a lot for the better. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video of version 9. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Please rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.